Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Buttery! Uh oh. Wait. Oh. What? Is that his name? Oh my god, his yeah. name is Buttery! I was about to make a joke about the names, and that's the name I hadn't read yet. I just saw Ekony and Venomy. <laughs> hey everybody. Perry. So, okay, so we're getting some Bug Trainer. Most of his Pokemon are bug, but not all of them. Who do we want for, uh, press, oh, wait, button to check is R. I'm pressing R and nothing is, nothing is occurring. Oh, you uh, have to, you have to press R and then the, the, like, press R and then press A. Oh, got it. Oh, oh, that's useful. Okay. Check okay. Stats. All right, yeah. guys, we're against Bug Boy. We got to I'm thinking Firo is probably... Firo's probably gotta, a good we gotta direction. We got to make smart decisions. Firo's good. Uh, Mr. Mime is good. And I'd say for our last, maybe just something strong. So Scyther. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Like, um, I think, I think those two that, just yeah. cover everything. Like, we could bring Lapras if we really felt like we were going to lose. But yeah. he's probably going to bring gonna. Kakuna. So. It's almost all poison and bug, you know? So. Okay. No, he's Just <laughs> use Peck. Just yeah. use Peck. Okay, yeah. so we win this fight. Ooh, I forgot the music. I wonder how many people are watching this who have never seen Pokemon Stadium. This is like back when Pokemon first started becoming 3D. It was the only 3D Boom. Pokemon for games for a long time. The announcer is probably one of my favorite parts of this game. Yeah. Oh, he gets so pumped. Especially when you hear him say, uh, taken down on the first go a thousand times. Yeah. Look, it's shiny butterfree. All right, That's another uh, thing about Pokemon Stadium is uh, that they just have uh, different colors for various Pokemon yeah. that are used by other trainers. Yeah, I figured I don't need to ask for feedback on what to use here. Just 95 accuracy yeah, yeah. if I hit, it dies. Fireworks are flying in this battle. It's all flooding probably back probably should be firing those inside, though. <laughs> yeah. Where's the... There's no crowd in the stadium. I always found that funny. Hang over the speaker system. God, he freaks the fuck out, doesn't he? He does. <laughs> did she... Or did he only take poison punk? Okay, okay. I, was, I meant bug. But no. I like the animation said, there. Did you hear what he said? What? It's Eakins. <laughs> uh, okay, do we, do we just switch and then kill him in one psychic, I guess? Yeah. Um, yeah. I want I want a perfect fight because that'll give us continues and you know we're gonna lose some of these. God, good music. Yeah. I love the animations. It's got so much personality. Oh, oh fuck oh. off! Fuck off! I remember this from growing up. How frustrating this was. All right. Now this is gonna be lasting for a little bit. It's not gonna kill you though, so no. Oh, it might. It might, cause he get he might get stuck on a loop and only use rap for the rest of time. But is he faster but than me? Let, I don't think he is. He's gonna let up after a while, and Mr. Mime is way faster than that guy. Okay. Yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know, cause of Gen One, they changed this in Gen Two because it was stupid. A bunch of moves, including rap, just lock you into getting hit by it turn after turn. Okay, it released. Yeah. So during my challenge of the gym leader castle, we, we I ended up getting stuck against a few trainers who would just end up being like, I'm going to use rap or bind or fire wheel, fire spin? Fire spin. One of them? Yep. And I would just be locked there for however many power points they had. How many moves do that in Gen 1? Rap, you had bind... Many. Bind, rap, fire spin, clamp. Um, if, yeah! So, so if they don't know what to do to beat you, like if they don't like have like a type that will do well against you, normally they'll go for one of those moves. Okay. Okay, that was only like three minutes. Lad! Okay. Oh, easy. Uh, start with Lapras. These You've got type coverage moves. for everybody. These fucking names. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah. Okay, start with Lapras. Um, Mr. Mime like, for safety. I like um, the half is there on Sprouty. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, half his team is weak against Psychic. You think maybe Mr. Mime? Yeah, Mr. Mime. Yeah. And Nido King, I'd say. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm liking I'm liking Nido King on this too. All right. 
I'm feeling pretty confident about these early ones. Oh, for anyone who's wondering, by the way, because we have had a little bit of instability in the mini games before. I'm throwing down a save state after every fight, just in case of a crash that maybe we can get around. Uh, we're just not going to cheat with those, obviously. Lad. It's not as bad as some of the names, okay? One of the guys in Jimmy <laughs> Castle, his name is Cool. Farfity. <laughs> <laughs> What a shit name. Oh, looks That's like a bad name. Pokemon choice. Yeah. As if he knew you were going to pick Lapras. This is a one-sided massacre from the word go. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. <laughs> You are not wrong, sir. <laughs> that, is, that is one of his favorite lines in this one. It is. It is amazing. <laughs> okay. All right. This is the easiest cup. I will remind everybody. So this is the yeah. early trainers of the easiest cup. It's not always going to be this easy. We also spent about half an hour picking Pokemon. <laughs> we did. That color is so, weird, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what's actually the strength of Bubble Beam? Compared 65, to I think. 65? And Bubble Beam is twice effective against Geodude. Um, yeah, that's a good point, because Ice isn't good against Rock, it's only good against Ground, right? Yep. Which is so confusing. <laughs> I'd love <laughs> the attack <laughs> animations in Pokemon Stadium. I think they look really cool. They <laughs> aged really well. I think they look really cool. I love that some of them, like, th there's a bunch of them that are just reused for all the moves. Yeah, I remember that a lot in Pokemon Stadium 2 because they added so many new moves that they just needed to reuse stuff like, you know, Muddy Water is just Surf but Brown. <laughs> yeah! Lad Bring gave us the children. Cascade badge! Don't know why he had that. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Swimmer! Why, why didn't he give us the Cascade badge? Okay, well, this is a lot of water, so I'm kind of thinking Voltorb. Voltorb. Did, you see, yeah. did you just say why did he give us the Cascade Badge? Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. There is an entirely water-type trainer in Surge's gym in the Gym Leader Castle. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so something worth pointing out, by the way, is, uh, is that because of the way this is mapped to my controller, the C buttons are the right stick. And so I am very paranoid on this screen about blindly selecting the wrong Pokemon because it's like, oh, you are slightly at an angle and it picks the wrong one. You know, I got to be careful with that. Tortmer, Staryumer. Uh, Tortmer yeah. is very close to Tortimer, the uh, Animal Crossing mayor from other oh, yeah, Animal yeah, Crossing yeah. games. I remember, I remember that guy. Um, I'm actually a little bit lost on who to pick. I... Mr. Mime and Scyther, I'd say. Mr. Mime is always safe, but he has... Oh, no, he doesn't have... He has one psychic type. Right, because Star... Star Humor. No, Star Humor is just regular yeah, water. Yeah, he's regular water. water. He hasn't evolved yet. Flomer um, is psychic, though. Yeah, but... Okay, so, so, I agree. Scyther, definitely a good idea. And maybe, yeah, maybe just Mr. Mime for brute force. Yeah. Because I don't want Nido King because he's part ground. Yeah, sure. All right. Also, were you holding R just then? Yeah. Uh, that's how, yeah, it that's how I was looking at them. Yeah, yeah. That's a, uh, that's a neat little quirk there. Yeah, I like that. To make sure I don't fuck up as hard. Okay, just explosion. Yeah, yeah explosion. Just, just, just explosion. Just explosion. Yeah. Oh, I must have misclicked. I should have used explosion. Whoops. I love that animation. That's I like that too. Animation. Also, the colors on Voltorb look really nice. Mm -hmm. On Staryu, they don't look the greatest. He needs to be a little darker. I mean, this is an alt color of Staryu, so... That is true, yeah. I like that the alt colors exist. It makes me feel like there's more variety in the Pokemon, you know? Mm-hmm. Tortmer. All right, he and looks like crap. Sun and blue to him. I genuinely keep thinking Thunderbolt is up and not down. That's why I'm double-checking. If I click up by accident, I blow up. Okay, he's level 16. Let's point that out. Yeah, he's they're probably, leveling up into yeah. VR. <gasps> yeah, yeah. But he's only got water gun. Hey, that's our first time where it's not a one-shot. Oh, hey! Critical hit! All right. All right. God, Voltorb is fucking pissed. Well, he just almost died. <laughs> Wouldn't you be pissed, too, if you didn't have a mouth? 
I am so deliberate with this, like the C stick thing. You have no idea. Like I hold it. I'm holding it like you would a, a joystick on an arcade machine where like you're clutching it with like a claw <laughs> hand. Like, like I am so fucking in control of this control stick right now. You have no idea. Oh, oh no. Need a rimmer. Need a reamer. Uh, we're switching probably, right? Yeah, switch to Mr. Yeah. I see no reason to keep him out when we could just Mr. Mime this. Yeah, we could we could lose a Pokemon and have to not get the continue, or we could switch. Yeah. Oh, I think Nido King would have been a better choice here instead of uh, Mr. Earthquake. Mime. Not just because of Earthquake, but because uh, Nido Reamer probably wouldn't have anything to deal a lot of damage to Nido King. That's true. Oh, okay. Eh. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Yeah, not not bad, but I think Nido King would have taken less damage. I agree. Okay, so Psychic is to the right. Yeah, you'd want Metronome here. Yeah. Metronome, self-destruct. Metronome Boom. into Metronome into Mimic. There we go. Sweet, we're doing good. He's cycling the fucking three lines. We've beaten three trainers in about 11 minutes. This is pretty good. <laughs> uh, I got my thumbnail though. <laughs> I got my new display picture though. I got my new Twitter icon. Yeah. <laughs> Can we all change our Twitter icon to that? And all of our Twitter names will just be Swimmer? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Hold on, let oh. me go update my Twitter handle to what a swimmer. There was like a flicker of a glitch screen for a second there. Well, this is pretty obvious. Sandlar! <laughs> uh, Drowlar. Uh, okay, so I'm feeling Lapras up front. Um, oh, he has geez. one psychic type, and psychics are a fucking bitch, and this is level 17. Um, he probably won't bring it. Probably not because he's stupid, but Scyther might not be a bad <laughs> idea just for muscle. Um, Who did you pick already? Lapras. No, we gotta bring Nido King. Nido King, then. Yeah. Oh, right, because Earthquake. And yeah. then is our last one Scyther? Um, I wouldn't say... I'd be nervous. I'd oh, say you know Mr. What? Mime or Scyther. Mr. Mime would Probably. defend against the fire moves better because of high yeah. special. Yeah. All right, we're good with that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I like that I can hold that to get the names in yellow at the end so we can all follow along. All right. All right, all right. Decent pick for the start. He looks like an idiot. All right, just he Bubble Beam, yeah. It yeah. looks like a Growlithe that somebody didn't take care of. He just got, like, fat <laughs> and, like, lumpy. <laughs> he looks like if a Growlithe was bad fan art of a Digimon. I could see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, one thing I loved... <laughs> One thing I liked about these models was that a lot of them were carried over to um, Colosseum and XD and were updated. Um, so they all have the same animations and everything. They just look a lot more polished. Yeah, it's just better models attached to the old animations. Mm -hmm. Which is yeah. what I would I wish they would have done for uh, Gen 6 and onwards as well. Yeah. Like give them some sort of oh, appreciation we got paralyzed. for these. Yeah, well, these old sprites or these old models. Fuck. Fucking. Uh, okay. It didn't do much damage, so we can try again. It, it was up, right? Yeah, okay. I don't like this. Body Slam doesn't miss unless the 256 glitch exists in this, which I think is one of the few glitches they patch. No, we got it. Okay, there you go. Uh, might not kill, though. This is an interesting uh, remix. Might not. Oh, okay, wow. okay, we can keep trying. Yeah, yeah. Ninetales would have gone down to an earthquake from uh, Nido King for sure, but for sure. uh, it still would have risked paralysis on Body Slam. I really want to know what his last Pokemon is. I bet you he picked Drowsy. I think he went Drowsy because this is his highest level. Oh, and paralyzed it. again. Uh, okay, we can, we can sneak one more in, but if we get crit, then we don't get our continue. Hmm. Why the <laughs> hell did you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I like that it was like a gun. <laughs> yeah. All right, I there we go. It. Bubble Beam is 100 accuracy, right? Yeah. Whoa. And then you crit. I like how Bubble Beam looks in this game. 
I remember wing attack looking cool, but wing attack, the problem with wing attack is it looks cool, but it's crap it's because peck. in gen, in gen one, wing attack and peck are the same attack. Charmilar. Charmilar. Okay. I, I would recommend switching to King. I agree. King. Uh, Nido King, yeah. We can definitely tank a hit and I think we'll be faster and one earthquake might be enough. It will be enough. Charmeleon doesn't have a whole lot of defense. Okay. Uh, I forgot he doesn't look so good in the face area. Yeah. Now, unless you get burned here. No. I like that animation, though. I like Earthquake's animation, actually. <laughs> will this Pokemon swap change wow, the flow of battle? Tiny. Yeah, what the Boom. hell? That's a, that's a huge Charmeleon. Man, that was yeah. a big Digimon. Man, that Agumon, was a Digimon, no! Man, that was a weird fish. <laughs> Wait, no, it's, a, it's not a Charmander. It's not a fish. It's I not a Charmander, it. so Wait. you can say it like that. I love his fucking eyes. Yeah, right? Nido yeah. King's eyes have just like, there's like a just just like tangled on. around them. <laughs> so, Brandon, I won't explain this to you on camera, but I'll explain it off camera. All you need to know right now for on camera is that every time you see a Charmander, you have to say, Charmander, that's a weird fish. And make sure you add an Interrobang whenever you say it. Yes, it's a, there's an Interrobang after Charmander, and then it's, that's a weird fish, period. That's what you have to say every time you see a Charmander for the rest of your life now in any context, and you can't give a context. I'll give you the context oh, in between episodes. <laughs> However, the only place that we've ever said the context on the internet was during the the randomized blue and red playthrough over on What a Geek's channel. Link to the description if anyone ever wants to watch that and see the context for that stupid joke. So uh, that's the only place where we'll ever say the context for the rest of human history. I was also going to say which episode that appeared in, but A, I don't remember, and B, it's probably not good for my views if you if I just tell you specifically yeah. which episode. Yeah, it's not just good for the watch all of it. Yeah, instead, no one's going to go back and watch that because no one gives that much of a shit, and they'll just be confused by our stupid in-joke. This show's That's great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're finally getting to higher level guys now. Um, Mr. Nido Vic King, I'd say. Yeah. Nido, King, Nido yeah. King, definitely, yeah. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of potential for a Voltorb. Um, Mr. Mime Mr. Is, Mime. Mr. Mime's never a bad idea just because he's really strong. Yeah. And uh, I guess just in case of Glercian, uh, Voltorb? then Voltorb. I yeah. guess. Because uh, Glercian doesn't have a whole lot of special defense and Voltorb can at least handle that. But everything else we should be fine for. Yeah. Yeah. So what does everyone think is going to be the first misclick of the run? Like, it's going to happen eventually, right? Explosion. Yeah. Lear. No, I think it'll be something stupid like Metronome. Yeah. And I Metronome Leer on a killing blow on the final boss of the game. Nido King really is not that big. Porygon, Porygon is literally out of Star Fox on SNES. He is. Uh, just Earthquake for sheer damage. I mean, Double Kick will do super effective damage, but I don't think it will kill it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So yeah, earthquake. That's... Yeah, mm -hmm. earthquake on a crit at least will kill it. And crits are very common in Gen One, so. Hey! Crit, there it is. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah, Porygon's kind of defensive. So. Well, and okay. he's level eighteen. Oh uh -oh. shit! No. I forgot about that. Oh, it's a crit. Oh, that might be down. That goes our, yeah. there goes our uh, chance to continue for this fight. Whoa! <laughs> he took a fucking flip bump. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mime? Mr. Mime. Yeah, because yeah, he'll be able to handle whatever comes out after the best. In fact, we could build a barrier if we want to, because if Pardogon's going to use Psychic, that's going to do nothing. Why don't we build up a barrier? Yeah, go go for a barrier for right now. Because I bet you Pardogon, Pardogon's not going to do shit to us. Unless he uses Hyper Beam. I love that ring that goes up. I love how that looks. <laughs> what now? Don't crit. Yeah, it's not stab, and it's not very effective. We have high specials, so we can tank those pretty easy. 
All right, I'm digging another barrier here. We might be able to sweep Fireworks the rest of this. Fireworks are flying. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> yep, there they are. I love that misty white color. The misty, like, whitish blue. Ooh, ice beam. Don't freeze, freeze me. This is temporary. Okay, we gotta just attack now. Neither one is exceeding an inch. Okay. We already have four times de or four defense buffs. That's a lot. It would have been sa much safer to have not used barrier a second time. Yeah, I just I didn't think he'd do so much. I thought he'd just use psychic again and do almost nothing. What will the next mm. Pokemon be? Come on, easy battle. Oh, it's oh, okay, we could one shot uh, that. It's got low health. Mm. Yeah, but. It's a decent special. Use Psychic, but it's probably not going to one-shot. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe. Level 15, so... No, if it were to somehow well. take us out, we aren't getting the continue anyway, and we have another Pokemon. Yeah. So. Yeah, no. Okay, that's that's going to be strong, but we might hang on. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. Crit. Definitely not. <laughs> Well, we gotta yeah. hope that his last thing isn't Sandro. Yep, that uh, would be pretty bad. Yeah. Takedown, because it's not no. steel no. type. Really? Thunderbolt. Okay. Thunderbolt, because takedown is gonna we can't uh, risk A, damage yourself. to you, and B, not do enough to him. Because Voltorp has terrible f full attack. Oh. Oh. oh, this isn't. Oh, come on! Oh. You absolute That's cock. That's tough. Yeah, Are we really gonna have to use a continue already? Yeah, if he comes with Sandshrew, we lost. Mm. We're looking pretty bad no matter what here. Yeah, the fact that he has the speed advantage now is just. That's tough. Mm. Gotta hope for Kingler. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, Kingler can probably do 25 damage to us. He probably can. Yeah, he probably can. You're but right. uh, I think Voltorb might still be faster than Kingler. Even yeah, we're paralyzed. Being paralyzed. Well, Mank. Um, maybe? Oh, he's got Karate Chop, though. He's probably going to just... Yeah, if you Karate Chop. Yeah, chomp, you're in trouble. But Thunderbolt and Hope? Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt yeah. and Hope. We're done. It's gonna crit. Yeah, He's it's not speed. stab. It's not stab. It, it's it will crit. Yep. Oh wow. But, yeah. Because right, it was normal type in Gen One for no reason. Yep. yep. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought we were fully paralyzed. Crit, please crit. We have a really high crit chance. Not, not just if you crit, but if you paralyze him too. Oh, okay. He's not paralyzed because he would show up right. Ah, oh, come on. I should have used one less barrier. I would have won. Yep. Whatever. Miss. Glitch. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Glitch! Uh, Done. Damn it. At least we gotta continue. Okay, yeah, damn. we got we built up a lot of continues what we could. We were cautious early and it's paying off in the long run because we have continues. I'd say still start with Nido King for the next round. I agree. I think that we was still a fine mix. Mr. Fix. Yeah. Oh, we lost to Mr. Dix. Continue? Yeah. Continue. Yep. And then I'll do this again. Yeah, I want to start <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> I just don't know if our team can take out Bug Boy, you know? Yeah, he's All tough. Right. All right, next episode, everybody. We we go against Mr. Fix again. I like that on epi the official episode one, I guess that will have, this will have been. I right, think episode zero, which was set up. We did get a loss, so at least there's some tension. Uh, until next yep. time, have a nice day. See ya.